Respiratory diseases such as asthma, COPD, and cystic fibrosis continue to be areas of unmet medical need. However, with advances in our understanding of these diseases, Solarian is positioned to help clients test new emerging therapeutic treatments. Over the past several years, Solarian has partnered with Professor Stuart Elborn at Queen's University Medical Center. Together, we've built a nucleus of early clinical research experience and expertise in assessing pulmonary function and biomarkers of pulmonary inflammation. As a result, in 2010, both Solarian and Queen's University were selected to become members of the UK's translational research partnership in respiratory. The collaboration between my research group, Solarian's Clinic, and our combined staff provides the ideal platform for performing early clinical research to assess proof of concept for new drugs to treat asthma, COPD, and cystic fibrosis. We use several testing methods to assess respiratory function. For example, the rate and volume of inspired and expired air can be measured using standardized spirometry and whole body plethysmography. Multiple breath washout measures such as lung clearance index, challenge testing with inhaled allergen, methacholine, histamine, exercise or lipopolysaccharide all complement the traditional lung physiology measurements. And analyzing sputum or bronchoalveolar lavage samples for cytokines and inflammatory proteins helps researchers determine the reaction of new drugs on the lung. Our combined experience and expertise along with specialized pulmonary equipment in our clinic creates a compelling solution for clients interested in pulmonary medicine studies. Spirometry is the most common pulmonary function test used in phase one studies of respiratory drugs. Simple spirometry measures both FEV1, which is the volume of air that is forcibly exhaled in the first second during a forced maneuver, and forced vital capacity, or FVC, which is the total volume of air exhaled after a full inspiration. Reference values are available for healthy populations based on race, ethnicity, and age. In patients with existing respiratory diseases, such as COPD, FEV1 has been used to classify patients by severity and disease progression. Plethysmography and spirometry with helium dilution are both methods for determining total lung capacity, or TLC, which is the total volume of air the lung can hold, and functional residual capacity, or FRC, which is the volume of gas remaining in the lung at the end of tidal expiration. The difference between TLC and FRC is the inspiratory capacity, or IC, which is the maximum volume of gas that can be inspired from end tidal expiration. Lung clearance index measured by multiple breath washout is an innovative method to assess small airways in the lungs. This test is straightforward to conduct, is more sensitive than spirometry, and regulatory authorities are showing significant interest in it as an outcome measure in phase two clinical trials. Solarian's Belfast Clinic has the whole body plethysmography chamber and trained personnel to accurately perform these tests and interpret the results. Conducting these tests to measure lung volumes is technically more demanding than simple spirometry and requires specialized training to perform these tests properly. Minimally invasive measurements can be used to determine the effects of inflammation on pulmonary disease and determine the effect of treatment. For example, an increase in exhaled nitric oxide concentration correlates with the degree of eosinic inflammation of the airways. Bronchoalveolar lavage can be used to collect fluids and cells from the lung periphery. The cellular component of the collected fluid is mostly made up of alveolar macrophages, which may be separated and cultured in vitro. Bronchoalveolar lavage from COPD patients have increased inflammatory biomarkers such as TNF-alpha, interleukin-8, and matrix metalloproteinases. Brush and forceps biopsy studies are also performed by fully trained bronchoscopists. The range of inflammatory proteins can also be measured in sputum samples collected after the subject inhales nebulized hypertonic saline, a procedure which is well tolerated by healthy volunteers and patients. These samples reflect the inflammation in the major airways and relate best to provocations of bronchial asthma. Airway hyperresponsiveness is a characteristic feature of asthma. Methods to evaluate airway hyperresponsiveness in asthmatics include 
common bronchoprovocation challenges with methicoline, histamine and allergens or exercise challenges. These challenge tests are safely performed in patients with mild to moderate asthma in Celerion's research clinic under the supervision of trained medical personnel. Celerion also conducts lipopolysaccharide challenge testing under controlled conditions to stimulate acute pulmonary inflammation in healthy participants. Using this model in healthy volunteers allows us to evaluate the anti-inflammatory effects of drugs on the airways. Celerion is a one-stop shop for understanding the clinical pharmacology of treatments for various aspects of respiratory disease. In addition to the expertise in conducting the specialized form of clinical research, Solarian has one of the industry's largest teams of clinical data managers, pharmacokineticists, statisticians, and medical writers, all focused on early clinical research programs. Providing a complete early clinical research solution for drugs targeting respiratory disease is what makes Solarian a leader in applied translational medicine.